Hey everyone, uh, we're here today to uh, check out my whitewater pinball machine and what's happening is that all of the upper GI lighting is out uh, on the top by the gorilla and all in you know this vicinity all the GI lighting not the inserts but the GI lighting is all out and I just repaired it and the problem was is that one of the um, the connectors were burnt out in the back box and that's a pretty good uh, place to start looking if you have this issue or something like this. So basically uh, what we're going to do is kind of look at it really quick just to kind of do a quick lesson on it. Just to see kind of where to look and how I kind of came to that uh, assumption I guess after looking at the pinball machine after it wasn't working and kind of you know. You look at the the things that are obvious first and that was the first thing I kind of looked at. So. Let's take a look really quick at how I kind of came to that assumption and we'll just kind of go through the steps on how I repaired it. Okay, so we're here now with the manual to the pinball machine. And basically what I did first, like just to kind of figure out where uh, the GI was coming from, I looked uh, in the manual and if you look here under the solenoid flasher table, you'll see in the back box that's right here, it says J. 121, 3, 5, and 6. So I kind of just looked at like, well, what am I kind of, you know, where, where would be that connector possibly that, that lights that? That would be the first thing I would look at. So I kind of just looked at it here where it said the back box. So I'm like, well, the, most of the general illumination is coming on J121. So that was the first place I looked. On the in the back box, you know, when I took the uh, trans light off, and basically that's in the manual. But also too, there's like a quick guide, and I forgot who makes these. Um, there, I'll put a link on my uh, site. It's actually on my website, but I'll do a link to the uh, in the blog. But these are like just like a quick, like you know, sheet here with all the solenoid or flasher tables. Uh, the switch matrixes and the lap matrixes that kind of tell you, you know, the different wires or the or what's in the in the back box for the connectors of where to look. It's just like a quick, you know, quick sheet, I guess it would be. You know, it gives you the power driver board, the Flipronics board. Uh, I don't know if it gets fuses on here. Yeah, fuse list over here. So this is really handy. That and I, I, I wish I remembered the guy who made this, but he has these all on his website. I, I actually printed these all out and I have them in my machines just for a quick reference, you know, if I need to look at it really quick. It's a great, great uh, little sheet that he made. But I also, too, make these notebooks for all my pinball machines, too. And basically, I just take the actual user manual and just kind of Xerox it and make a, like a book out of it. And then if I do any kind of mods or anything, you know, it's got like little pockets to put the instruction sheets for the mods. So I have pictures of the play field in case I take it apart, I kind of know where the pieces go back. So I kind of do this for all the machines I do under the play field. And I'll take pictures from the web just to give me an idea of, you know, like I said, where, you know, the, some solenoids would go or if you're rebuilding the flippers or lighting or wiring or something like that. So that's this is what I do for all my machines that I have. And then I have like the instruction sheet, uh, my colored DMD instructions. You know, I put LED flipper buttons on this from a coin taker. Uh, I did some uh, GI lighting and some uh, insert lighting for LEDs. And, you know, so I just keep everything in here. So it's just an easy, quick read, you know, in case you need everything in one shot. Everything is in here and it's like clean and all that. So what we're going to do now is look in the back box and I'll show you exactly where I went to... Uh, to change that connector and to make the uh, GI lighting in the back come back on. Okay, so now we're in the back box. I took the trans light off and the uh, I lowered the color DMD. So um, what we're going to do now is go to J121 on our uh, our driver board here, and that's right here where my pointer is, where there's no connector in there. So what I did was I changed this connector here because this is what the old one looked like. And you could tell it's all burnt, like on the sides here. And that was when I looked in the back box of, of kind of, you know, where to look on the board, that's what I saw at J121. So first, like I said, I looked on that sheet 
to get an idea of where I'm looking. And then this is very uh, obvious that this was probably the issue because what happens is, is that if you have regular GIs in here with no LEDs, the, uh, the connectors get kind of hot after a while. And I never really changed all the connectors in here. I might have changed a couple, but I haven't changed all of them. So this one, I guess I never changed. And then it kind of, you know, burnt out. So then what I did was I used this wire insertion tool here. And then basically what you do is you take the wires from your, you know, previous, you know, wires here, you know, that you had. And then you just take this tool and you kind of lay the wire in there and you push down on it to push the wires into the, uh, the actual connector here. And there's like ends on here that the wire kind of sits in. And then that tool actually pushes the wire farther in to make contact. So this connector actually works, you know, back to the, um, you know, the lighting and all that. So the pinball machine will uh, work with your lighting or whatever, whatever these connect to. So that's really how you do it. You could buy this tool at like Pinball Life. They have, I think that's probably where I bought this from. And it's, it's like called a wire insertion tool, I believe it's called. There might be two different sizes. I think I have both sizes, but uh, but that's what I use to do that. Sometimes you could take like a screwdriver and kind of push it in sometimes, but it gets a bit messy and you, know, you don't want to break the wires up and stuff like that. So you take a new connector. It's keyed really one way. Make sure you put the wires in the correct way of how you took them out of the old one. And then you just kind of put it into the new one here and that's it. And then all you do is you take it and then, you know, you just reseat it back onto the connector here like that and that's it and you're good to go so um, let's check out the pinball machine and see if that fixed the issue which I believe that it did but we'll just make sure and that was that easy and that, that was the issue so let's take a look okay so now you can see that all the lighting is back on all the GI lighting like behind the blue lighting there by the monkey and in the back, like the white lights, you know, the uh, regular regular bulbs that I have for the GI lighting in the back. And the reason why I didn't change the, G, the, light, the GI lighting in the white water is because I've read that, and I don't know how true this is, but that with uh, LEDs, the, uh, the fades and stuff like that that happen in white water, like when you lose a ball and all that, you kind of lose some of that. But LED lighting has gotten a lot better, so maybe that has been fixed. I'm not exactly sure, but... Eventually, when I feel like I get ambitious and all that, I'll change the lighting out because LEDs just run so much cooler and all that too. So, um, you know, sometimes it's a good idea to kind of go that route. But LED lighting is also a lot brighter sometimes and could be a little overwhelming. But, but it's they're good for, you know, for what they are. So that's it. So I uh, hope you learned something from this and. If that insert tool doesn't work correctly or like, you know, you still kind of have a problem, you could always kind of use like a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, something like this, like I said before, to kind of, you know, just nudge the wire in a little bit more into the connector so you get a better connector. It seats a bit better because when I use that connector tool that I was the insertion tool I was showing you before. It's still, there was a, like a wire that was a bit loose. It wasn't connected in fully. It didn't push it all the way in, but I nudged it more in with this and I got a better connection, a better fit. So that kind of did the trick. So, so that's it with this uh, lesson. And basically, again, thanks for watching all my videos. I really appreciate it. Again, you can see my website at www.pinballsupernova.com. And I have the links to all my other sites, my Twitter page, my Facebook page, and my YouTube page where this video was going to be and that all could be accessed from the home page on www.pinballsupernova.com and again I appreciate everybody watching my videos I just hit over 200 viewers on uh, YouTube subscribers so that's great I really appreciate it I got like 30 subscribers in like one month which is even better and it really makes it worth making these videos if people watch them and they subscribe at least I know people are somewhat watching them. So again, thanks a lot, and I'll talk to you soon.